Where's James? Hello, mate. <laughs> Flapped out just inside, didn't it? <laughs> I got here too late. You've already blooming built the place. <laughs> this is this morning you've done this, James. When I left you on Friday, we just had the studs up, so you've yeah. put the. Well, we've got the we've got all the ceiling joists through, uh, and we got the commons up, pitched up to our plate. And this morning, Ian did a, a scarf joint. Did he? That. Did you, Ian? <laughs> yeah, love it. You love doing yeah. a bit of your scarfing oh, now. I can't beat it. Yeah. I'll get to see if I can get a close up of that. Yeah, Pity I didn't see that this morning, isn't it? But never mind. You oh, can... we'll we'll do another one. Yeah, Blue yeah. Peter. Get another... <laughs> <laughs> this is one I did later. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, but we just had, actually about to start the interesting bit. Uh, at the back, we've got a funny little configuration of a hip with a valley and a short hip, and a ridge coming in part way down the main roof. So it's it's a little bit bit yeah. of uh, yeah. jiggery pokery, as they say. Yeah. Um, so what have you done? Have you how have you fixed those ceiling collars to the rafters? These have all been, tim um, they've been uh, timber screwed together, uh, three in each, at each end. Yeah. That's what building control wants around here. So we've got, um, I'll show you what we used actually. Oh, surprise, surprise. Now look at that, eh? So yeah, we, we use these, these timber screws. Um, these are the 100 mil ones. Yeah. So we've got three in the end of each rafter into each ceiling joist. And then at the top, they've been driven down one on each rafter down in, and then spike nailed at the bottom oh, to stop any movement there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's just been timber screwed yeah. all the way yeah. around, uh, and it is absolutely rock solid. It's n that's never going to spread. Do uh, you have to put any straps anywhere or not? Do they ask for straps? Um, no, because we've we've used these timber screws, the 150 mils up from the oh, wall okay, straight gotcha. up into the bottom of the right. plate, all the way through every 600 millimeters, all the way around the building. Yeah. So uh, the only straps we do need actually is going to be down. We've got a wall plate which sits down onto the brick built building underneath us. Yeah. So we've just got to strap our plate down there. What, on the inside or the outside? Uh, it's going to be the outside, um, which normally would cause a problem. But in this case, we've got render carrier board going on the outside of this. And because it's only single skin brickwork downstairs, we're carrying that right through oh, okay. to help with any moisture penetration on yeah, the building. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so, quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. So, so you're not going to get a lot nice... of insulation in that bottom one. It's just going to be. It's, it's as it was. It was a. It was an old garage down mm. there, which I converted into a gym quite some time ago. Yeah. Um, but you know they don't need any heating in there or anything. No, no. They've got a little electric heater for yeah. the winter. If you get um, cold in a gym, it's, you're not working hard enough. Exactly. You've got it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little camp in there, mate. It's lovely. It is, yeah. This bit is sort of half felted, just so every downpour we can rush all our tools into there. And then as soon as it gets dry, we back out. Fair weather builder. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's true. Oh, no, it's not. You've never seen a rusty man yet, so you can, <laughs> we can get out in the rain. They're mad for it, the old Irish. They'll be out in any weather. They can't, they've got no choice here, yeah. <laughs> Nice bird's mouths. Lovely Hello. bird's mouth, my friend. I just thought I'd get a nice close up of it. <laughs> Such a nice saw. Is it? It's a dream. I'll move this, uh, taking this out, we'll level this up. Yeah. Happy there. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we should be able to. Yeah. Look at that. and get this one in. That's it. 
it. You right, can you manage yeah. it? Perfect. Nine two seven. Yeah, put a tack in there, just hold it. Just... Yeah. Nineteen fifty seven. Nineteen sixty seven. Fifty seven. Nineteen fifty seven. I'd like to say that was you when... I was born, but it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Before my mum and dad were born. I'm older than your mum and dad. You're like a son to me, James. Thanks, Dad. Grandson. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean you're going to get any of my money, though. <laughs> I'm getting it instead. Yeah, yeah. Great grandson. <laughs> Ian's getting it because he's my northern. He's my, no my northern secret. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Dang. Tell you what. That oh, looks all right. And we'll fit a nice hip right in there. Get a hip in there. This is a single, is it? Yeah, yeah. 168 inches. What's that in millimetres? I'm not telling you. What's that in English? 168. That is English. That is English. You keep English. speaking French every now and again. <laughs> I'm sure that's French. What was it in, in, in millimetres? Oh. It's 168 inches. 168 inches. 4270. I'd have put that scaffold in too high again. Smack it off and then we can... We've back to an English tape, right. not, none of these French This is not tapes. English, this is not English. The height above plate is... 115mm. 115HAP. So we set our hip to 45 now. Yeah. We were on roof pitch 45. Now we're on hip 45. Okay. Should be within nine to eleven degrees different. It's yeah, not it's about one degree from. <laughs> no, that's no, that's sorry. Well, forty-five was there. Yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah, ten degrees. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine and a half. Nine and a half. Is it? Oh. Just shows you, doesn't it? What is it in degrees? Thirty-five point six. And that's just forty five. That's it. Oh, so yeah, just changes there, doesn't it? That's where my measurement is. It's there. Three, three, nine, five. Thirty-six, just under thirty-six. Three, three, nine, five. There's one, one, five above plate. Yeah. So then that is to there. There must be a bump or something in the timber. Yeah. Well, there's good knots there. It's exactly the same as it was before. Is it? Shows that it's that much out. If you are building a piano, yeah. certainly not a Steinway.
never ending. That's the never ending <laughs> screw company. Do you think that's long enough? So what's it like up there, James? Absolutely perfect. Is it? Yeah. And that, my friends, is what we call a hip. Put the brace on the wrong side, Roger. 1416. That's when Roger was born. What were you doing then? <laughs> <laughs> Straight in there. Oh! Ow! <laughs> I've got to say, Ian, you're getting the hang of this. <laughs> Definitely. Who needs Dan Cox when you've got Dan Cox's tool? <laughs> <laughs> Eight five five. Eight five five. Cool. Should get that out of this one. It cost me up that Milwaukee battery as well, please. Yeah. Earplugs for 36.2 in. 36.2. 35.8. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a point. There's got to be a point somewhere. Yeah. It's, like um, your, it's like your body heat. Well, if we go 1200 to there, you've got something nice to stand on. Yeah, no, we, we're all right. So what do you go, three times the width? Three times, yeah. Some, three. Pe some people say five, don't they? Oh, do they? Some of the comments. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. Five times. Five no, times. Three, three times is, is more than enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> May as well line them through. Do all those cuts first. He's so selfish doing all the work. I <laughs> know. Clamp this up, then I'll straighten it all up. Then from there, trace it. Um, that 15 either side there, and then that'll just leave me like 30 mil, just to bang a couple of wedges in there. Mm. My other bit that'll come into this rafter will sit on the top of there. Extend that for the windy. Yeah, go on then. We'll give it, position. give it a try. Using that saw backwards. <laughs> no, he's using it the African way. Is that how they do it? So they don't cut themselves. I guess so. It was not, just... not so stupid when you're 300 miles from the nearest hospital. <laughs> <laughs> then let me just. We can try that. Do 
it's not too bad. A couple of wedges in there. Mechanical fix in either side. A lot of people say, why didn't you make life easy for yourself and cut this on the ground? Well, when we started pitching this roof, it was pouring down with rain. So we just had to get this first section up. As you can see, we've got all the commons in. So we just threw the, cut a load of commons, we threw the ridge up. Um, and then we got water tight from there. Or, well, half of it water tight, so we could set up underneath and be nice and watertight. Um, also, I suppose when you're coming into an extension, if you're doing an extension and you're going into an existing ridge, it's always nice to be able to cut it in stitch you, I suppose. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it's nice to be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to do it if you have to. If you have to, hard in place, yeah. Certainly loft conversions and things like that, sometimes you want to extend that ridge out, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah well, ideally, good. you put it all in the ground, but I yeah, mean, this, our priority was just to get in shelter. Well, you did it, really. Mate, anyway, so, yeah, didn't you? well, it's not bad. Not bad for. Yeah, a blind man. In, yeah. <laughs> not bad for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, up here. But cutting it up here, yeah. Ideally on the ground, but there we go, never mind.